At the last meeting of the American Heart Association, I was invited to give a state-of-the-art talk on how aging and gender affect the way we take care of patients. The main question I was asked to address was the use of antihypertensive agents in older versus younger, in men versus women. The audience was my peers from the US and from all over the world. The problem that result from high blood pressure, from the point of view of the patient, are five. Heart attack, stroke, heart failure, kidney dialysis, and death. When we measure blood pressure in the office, we report two numbers, the systolic and the diastolic. The systolic is when the heart is pumping, while the diastolic, the lower number, is when the heart is relaxing. With uh, the passage of time, the blood pressure increases on everybody, the systolic blood pressure, the top number, while after the age of 50 or so, the diastolic blood pressure, when the heart is relaxed, decreases. And the reason for that is because our arteries get stiffer. The difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure predicts cardiac health and adverse outcomes. Blood pressure lowering is beneficial for all persons with hypertension, regardless of age. But at the same time with aging, our body and our brain have many, many other changes that cannot be ignored when you're trying to treat hypertension. At the end of my presentations, I had to give my opinion. If you ask the question of what is the target blood pressure in older individuals, the answer is Definitely, it depends. It depends on many factors. In treating hypertension in older men or older women, I think we should consider the following. Consider individual variability. Consider frailty. Start low, go slow, with attention to adverse effects and tolerability. Pay attention to comorbidities. Changes of blood pressure withstanding, as well as changing of the clinical situation. Some blood pressure change is better than none. Do not increase the blood pressure medications only because of aging. For those below 80, a target blood pressure of 140 over 90 is appropriate. And for those above 80 who are in good health, a target blood pressure of 150 over 90 the second question I asked was, should women be treated differently than men if they are older hypertensives? And the answer is, the target should be the same as men. Good afternoon, how are you today? I'm good. What would you? the benefit to great society be from the items I presented? And the answer is, society will benefit greatly not only by the prevention of adverse events such as stroke and heart attack, but also by having healthier population and healthier workforce, and by decreasing medical expenses and increasing productivity. There is much more work to be done because in spite of everything we know, only 50% of people with hypertension are controlled. Here at the Cardiovascular Institute, we develop new drugs and devices, we test them in large clinical trials, and we train the future leaders of cardiovascular medicine in the U.S.